Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to add test points uh, using the Cadence PCB tools. So we've got a couple of options. Uh, there'll be a separate video for the automatic method. This is going to cover the manual method today. So we go to the manufacturer, test points, and manual option. So before I want to do that, what I want to do is look at, I've got a couple of options here. I've got some parameters and properties. If I look at the properties, um, I can add, delete, or query properties. So do I want certain nets that uh, don't have test points? I can add a test point quantity. I can allow test points under components as well. And this also can be available from Constraint Manager. So if you go to the Properties Workbook, look under the, the Net Properties option, are the, the different options here for the, the same scenarios here for, for, for the quantity, the prohibit um, from a test point point of view. So you can add it from a Constraint Manager point of view if you want to do that as well. So what we'll do is we'll start off, we'll look at the properties, so the parameters, sorry. So let's go to the parameter scenario. Um, and I can then choose uh, which nets I want to specifically use. So I can pick via only, um, which pad stacks I want to use, whether it's a, a, a surface mount or a through hole pin, I'm gonna use either. What layer I want to be using on, so top, bottom, or either. I want bottom and I just want single or flooded. So I just want to be a single based uh, test point. So I'm effectively almost like an IC bareboard test, an ICT kind of scenario. I can be very specific. So I can give it a, a net's name. So net's net alphabetic, net numeric, or I can give it a specific TP1, TP2, TP3, which is what I'm going to use in this scenario. Um, we'll look at the pad stack selection. So um, from a bottom point of view, through vias only, I'm just going to pick effectively the default via. So we'll just go and pick the default via here. But I want to add existing vias here, and what I want to do is use a, a replacement via. So every time it uses this default via, I want to replace it on the bottom side with a very specific pad stack. So we'll click on the, the pad stack type, uh, replace vias option. We'll enable the via here, and then uh, we will then just enable the via that we want to use. So I'm going to pick a via from the library, and what this does is every time it finds our default via, I'm going to go and use it with a, a default uh, larger pad. And which gives me a larger, larger surface area on the bottom. I'll enable that and click OK. Once I'm happy with that, I can then use the manufacture test points uh, and we'll use the, the manual command and this will then manually go and replace pad stacks as we go along. So I can come in and I can then click the pad stack that I want and you can see the pad stack gets bigger on the bottom. If I look at the colours, I've also got a manufacturing. I've got a pro top and a pro bottom, so we'll turn those both on. Let's have a slightly different colour for the pro bottom. We hit OK and you can see our effects. We get this, this triangular representation, TP1. So I can then go and pick the next test point that I want to do, TP2, TP3. And it will just continually adding the test points as I continue. It won't physically move test point location, so, um, but it will bubble tracks out of the way. You can see it's effectively not going to cause any errors here. But if I was to effectively come down and maybe place... Um, Let's find one that's going to be causing me a DRC error. Uh, this one probably. You'll see I get a DRC error here, so it won't physically move the uh, the, uh, the the location of the, the via. It's just going to replace that because I've got a slightly larger uh, diameter. I'd have to physically go and correct any errors that I had here. So once I'm finished here, there is a, an, an export re quick report. There is a test prep report which will give me a list of the locations that I can then export information out. And I can also, from the manufacturer test points, there's a create a test, a test point fixture which will give me the locations. Um, and I can fix and unfix locations as well. Um, and I can resequence and renumber the test points which I'm finished, um, uh, which will give me a report um, and send the information out.